and puff up so much in the next couple months. Give them a really quick water and move them out of the way for so I can show you the rest of this. Okay, um, this is another one of the same variety. I'm not sure if these are Symbiformis or which Haworthia varieties these little ones are. These are starts that all came off of plants. And these guys, you can see how green and thick that is. Just a couple months ago, and I'm just pulling these old dead blooms off, just a couple of months ago, the leaves were a lot thinner. Um, not, not this yellow, this is just an old leaf, there's nothing wrong, but a lot thinner and just looked more sad. I believe I took some photos of them to show you, but this is a good example right here to kind of compare if you can see how much thinner the leaves are here. Yes, this guy is thirsty, but I wanted to show you because this is very, very much what they look like when they go dormant. And it, in the summer, it did not matter how much, how often I watered these guys. It didn't matter how much I babied them. They still look like this, um, if not a lot worse. They're a lot, they're a lot greener right now than they used to be. Whereas these guys here, this type, ah, I'm spacing on names here. I'm sorry guys, I got, I got too much going on um, in my brain here. But these guys hardly change at all. They, they do shrivel up a little bit um, in the summer and get a little bit less puffy, but they really don't change nearly as drastically. So um, if your Haworthia is drastically changing suddenly and your care hasn't changed, it might just be because it's summer. And if it is summer, I wouldn't worry for a little while. If it's in the middle of winter and it starts acting up, then that's their, I'm sorry, if it's in the middle of, yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> if it's in the middle of winter and they start acting up, that's a little bit more worrisome because that's their active, active growth phase, or should be. This is another variety here. This one is a Venosa species tessellata. And it's a little bit wider, wider leaves, and it's got babies, and then it's got a stem producing a baby here, and then this stem is the flower stems. The flowers on these guys all pretty much look similar. If I can get this around to show you. It's a really long stem here, you can see. And they're very, very small. Oops. Yeah, that's not showing up at all, is it? They're very, very small and not very impressive. But it does give you a little bit of an idea that your plant is um, not necessarily happy, but is at least growing and not extremely unhappy. And so while the flowers aren't super pretty, they do make me smile because I know that, that they're at least having a little bit of extra energy to do that. Now these are a bunch of pups that I pulled out of probably one of the big clusters over there that I just pulled this one out of and just jammed into a pot. And they all looked like this pretty much all summer long, this brown sadness, which is partly because they were getting too much light and I was really sick and didn't have time to care. <laughs> but as I pulled them in and got them in an east window instead of a south window, they're greening up all pretty, but they can take another water as well. If you're, I'll show you this truncata here. I have one that really needs water and one that's just fine. So this guy, I already watered him, but you can see how thin his tops are. He's had a really hard life. He was extremely dehydrated when I got him from the grower probably six or eight months ago. And then he got knocked down by cats and children and out of his pot multiple times. And I was so sick. He just laid out bare root for months. So, but he will plump up really, really quickly. These guys are great that way. And he will look a lot more like this one. And while this guy isn't um, thin at all or really needing water, it's been a while since I've watered him, so he's going to get a good drink also. So if you're wondering, I'm going to wrap this up. If you're wondering why you haven't seen Haworthy is available for a while, it's probably because it's been summer and you'll see a lot more of them in the winter. I still have a lot more here that I didn't show you, but this video is going to get ridiculously long. Um, this is another cluster that has been um, kind of a brownish 
color for months and months and months and it and I thought well maybe it's maybe it really is sick and just a couple weeks ago it started greening up and it has grown probably a couple inches in the last couple of weeks so it just took a little bit longer to wake up than the others which is no problem Alrighty, I think that's where I'm going to end this for now. I have uh, drugged this out a lot longer than I thought. I thought, oh, that'll take about three or four minutes. And I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this helped you a little bit if you have Haworthias to at least see some different varieties and um, get a little bit more information about their dormancy period. And if you have any questions or if this was just too confusing, please post them in the comments below. And you guys have a great day and happy growing.